I'm at South Columbus. And uh, this is the house. It's a house from the 1940s and it's been completely redone. And it's just gonna take your breath away. You come into a living room area with recessed lighting, fresh paint throughout. Okay, and it's got a little area over here where you could put like a desk or something. Pre-wired for Verizon, hall closet, half bath, new sinks, new toilets, new everything. Little hallway here. Oh, this door will go through last. That's a door to the basement. Check this out. A little nook here where you can, you know, put stuff. A little bench where you can store stuff walks into a ginormous modern kitchen. Corian countertops, check out the cabinets. Let me swing around so you get a full view here. You know me, double sinks and windows, love them. Stainless steel appliances, floor to ceiling cabinets, double oven, microwave, light and bright. And there is an ice maker on the refrigerator. Check out the tile on the floor and a walk-in pantry. Everything you could love. That connects to a family room area, if you will, recessed lighting, another door to outside. So you have two front doors. We'll go down this hallway, which connects back to the living room in a minute. Check out these windows. Backyard here. Three quarters of the way fenced. Oh, sorry. I forgot to unlock that ahead of time, but three quarters of the way fence, not fenced in the very front. Um, huge deck, great space. All right, so then we cut through this little hall. I remember I said it was a 1940s house, so it's got little things like a little step here and two steps down back to the living room, back to the front door where I came through. Let's go upstairs, top of the stairs. You've got a bathroom straight ahead. Shower, look at the tile work on that. Again, the huge tile on the floor. Newer sink. Two bedrooms off to the right. It's a medium sized room. And it's got, you know, little things like you've got the slanted roof and all that because it is built in the 40s. The low window. Two closets in here though. So plenty of space. Your next bedroom, a little smaller, perfect for a home office, a nursery, toddler, and again, the funkiness of a 1940s house, a step up into the closet. Gotta love the charm of this. Two steps up to an addition here. And what you've got, you've got a really large bedroom here. Ceiling fan. Closet. And then you've got a bathroom with a soaking tub with jets. And the rain shower head, window, vanity. And next to that, you've got your fourth bedroom. Again, really good sized bedroom here. Ceiling fan, lots of windows. This does not have a private bath, but it's a big room that you could easily fit a king size bed in. And there's your closet. All right, let's go downstairs. I'll get that later. All right, downstairs we head. Okay, and here are the stairs that we're gonna go down. Sorry about the delay here. And then you're gonna get to really feel the charm of this house when we go into the basement. We go back into the living room space. There's your front door. Here's the door I pointed out before. Now we're gonna go down. Narrow old stairs that kind of encourage you to go down. The bottom you can go right or left. We'll go left first. 
small little rec room area here connected to full-size modern-day washer dryer and then a little bit of storage there where the um, hot water heater is step up and we'll go on the other side where the addition is and you've got a door to the backyard So legally, this could be considered a bedroom. It's got a closet, it's got windows, it's got a door, egress and all that. Here's a full bathroom next to it. Check out the tile work again. Great little touches throughout this house. Sink. And then next to that, what could be another bedroom with a door leading outside and of course a closet. All right, let me know if you have questions.